Welcome folks. I want to introduce a software tutorial for the Ripser software package. This uh, Ripser software package was designed by Ulrich Bauer and it has the nice feature of having a lightweight browser version that you can just run in your internet browser. Um, the software tutorial accompanies this book chapter that I wrote with two of my graduate students, Jonathan Bush and Joshua Mirth. And we, we talk about some of the common examples of, of interesting data sets in applied topology. So this three circle model for the space of natural images, which also has a primary circle version and this cyclooctane molecule. Um, great. So let me share the tutorial. Here is the link to the tutorial. I'll put it in the uh, description of this YouTube video. All right. So there are data sets associated with this tutorial. And to find those data sets, you go to the web page that actually has the software. And then you go to the code and you just click download zip. Okay. And that opens up a zip file for you, which you can, um, which you can unpack. All right, so let's do the first example. The very first example will be building the Viator Scripts persistent homology on top of these five data points. I call these the house data points because they, they form a house. So if you think about the persistent homology, you'll have for five connected components at first for each of the five um, points, and then everything will eventually connect up. And in the one dimensional homology, the square will form a loop that will persist for a while. This triangle won't form a loop because you'll remember in Viator Scripps complexes, triangles always get filled in immediately. Okay, so let's run, run this demo. I go to Ripser Live which is this Ripser software package, but you can do it in your browser, okay? So you just need to tell the software, how are you inputting your data and what uh, dimension of homology do you wanna compute? So we'll input our data as a point cloud. So just a list of coordinates, so, you know, so I list the coordinates 0, 3, 1, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 in this file. And let's do homology in dimension zero and one so we can see the connected components and the one dimensional holes. So, so when you choose your file, go to the, um, the zip file that you downloaded. So it's called topological data analysis master after you unzip it. Inside there, go to persistent homology and then there's various example point clouds and we'll choose the house points. And once we upload that, that file with the data points, um, you see the five connected components from the five data points, and then they merge down into one connected component, and you see this one hole. So that, that's pretty neat. You can compute persistent homology in your browser without downloading any software. Let me show you some other examples. So let's do a torus. So I upload this file, which is torus points. Oops. I lost it. Let's try it live. I upload this file, which is torus points and it's computing the persistent homology. You get a single connected component, a lot of data points here. You get two one dimensional bars as you expect for a torus the two loops. And let's tell it to compute two dimensional homology again. So we'll compute homology dimension zero, one, and two. Okay. Two dimensional homology has taken a little bit longer to compute. In the, in the tutorial, you know, you can see the expected results. So a single connected component 
two one-dimensional holes and then a two-dimensional hole. I crop off a lot of the short bars, which are just noise, just so that we could uh, plot them in this tutorial without having, having way too many short noisy bars. All right, here's an example from the optical image data where only the primary circle appears. So I'm only plotting one dimensional homology and I see this one one dimensional hole coming from the primary circle of linear gradients. Whereas this other example you can run in your browser and you see these five one dimensional holes coming from the three circle model. So the tutorial sort of walks through this for you. Um, it goes to the example of, um, you know, here's the primary circle of linear gradients and you see just a single one dimensional hole. But then it also shows, aha, there's an even better picture of the primary circle. But it also shows the three circle model. Right? So this is a three circle model, which in higher dimensions actually has five one dimensional holes. All right. In this tutorial, you can also do the example of the cyclooctane molecule. So here's a cyclooctane molecule. Um, it's its data, data shape is a sphere with a Klein bottle glued inside. And when you compute the persistent homology, you get a single one dimensional hole and two two dimensional holes. All right, so that is my brief introduction to this software tutorial um, that was written to accompany a book chapter but it really is built on top of uh, Ripser Live, which is very fast software for Viator strips complexes and persistent homology. It's a little slow when you do it in your browser, but you can at least get started if you're interested. And then if you download Ripser to your desktop, um, it's a really fast software package for computing these persistent homology barcodes. So what, what public questions do, do folks have? All right, thanks so much.